Our brain requires a great deal of energy to operate, particularly when we have to concentrate and think about something. Problem solving or making a decision not only uses more brain energy, it also can be a slow process. So our brain seeks to conserve energy by developing efficient ways of operating. One way it does this is through conscious and subconscious processing. Our brain seeks to automate much of what we do to save us time and brain energy. These are our brain's subconscious processes. They take care of our basic life functioning, our fight or flight response, and our learned behaviors and habits. We don't really think about these things. They just happen on autopilot or have become second nature. In fact, up to 95% of all our behaviors and reactions happen at the subconscious level. Our subconscious is also involved in the recording and storing of our experiences and knowledge, forming our memories. These are stored in our brain like photos in a picture album, which we can refer back to later. The way we think and feel about these experiences forms a frame around the photo. This is how we give people, objects, or events meaning. Over time, this is how our attitudes develop. For the most part, our subconscious processes help us navigate the world efficiently. Yet sometimes we might develop unhelpful habits or attitudes that prevent us from achieving our goals. This is where more conscious thinking can benefit us. Our conscious processing involves our higher thinking capacity where we can be more mindful and considered in what we think, feel, and do. We can use conscious thinking to reprogram our subconscious and change our thoughts, attitudes, and habits. While thinking consciously takes more energy, it is how we take greater control of our brain and achieve our goals.